Okay, we've got a new version of Simple Sci-Fi Pro, and there's a lot in here actually, so let's take a look real quick. First of all, we have this new panel gen, which is a new generator uh, that can create lots of cool little panel designs, uh, kind of like these ones I'm showing you right now. And it's really kind of for background scenes. It's not something that you'll use for a city scene or anything like that, but it's something that you could use as a grayscale uh, for displacement maps, or it's another thing you could use it for as just some background wall textures and stuff like that. But let's go into the GeoGen. This is where some of the more exciting stuff is just some of these new uh, D-Packs. These new Pro D-Packs are just amazing. For the most part, Greasy Bear's done all the work on these, and they look fantastic. So let's just go into, uh, for instance, I'm going to go into this one called Exodus. So we'll go to Exodus Bottom, put that one in the bottom collection. In the top collection, we're going to go, and we'll do the Exodus Top. So... And we, we're starting off small, as you can tell. We added a couple new features here also. One is that we're doing more randomization here in the actual geometry node. Uh, and then we can also hide the bottom plane if we want. So that's kind of cool. And if I come up here and click on this, I can kind of see what these things look like, right? So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to just basically take the size down a little bit, and I'm going to add a few more of these guys, you know, get it, get it a little bigger, something like that. You know, I can start you know, adjust these from the seed number. Yeah, if I hide the bottom plane, I'll get this. So we'll get this done, and then let's just go ahead and look at this top level density. Jack it up, and I'm going to make the size larger too, so we get something along this. So this is more of a city, kind of a sci-fi future city thing. And then I'll just start moving these around. Let's just kind of see what we get until we find something that we like. Yeah, maybe that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to save this as downloads, and we'll just save it there. And now I'm going to do File, New, General. So basically, starting over, A, X, delete everything in the scene. And then we'll go and append that file we just saved, which was in Downloads. There it is. And we'll go into Collection. Now, if we were going to append that new panel collection, we would append this one. But this is the one we are working on with GeoGen. So I'm going to append that one. And you can see it comes in. Look, first of all, let's just go ahead and close these guys off. Close that one and that one. And then we'll come in here and we'll just say, let's look at this at the vertex colors. There we go. Okay, with this selected, and let's see what we have. So I can still adjust the seed here if I want. So if I want to change it, I can just move it around. So, you know, but I kind of like 66. That was a good one. Let's just go ahead back to 66. Okay, so we're rendering this. Now let's look at this. Remember, we can turn on the material preview if we want to see what this is going to look like. And now you can kind of get a, a picture of what that looks like. And let's move it up here. And we'll select the object. And I'm going to go and grab this thing and use the gem material on it. So now that we can edit, we're editing this. And I'm going to come in here. Let's move it up a little bit more. Let's kind of, let's get a picture, a view that we kind of like. Shift A, let's, we'll add a quick camera. Position it, something like that. Move this up, move this so we can see it well. We'll lock that camera down. More like this, you know, if I want to, if I want to change this, I can just come over here and just start doing this until something kind of strikes my fancy. And if I want to, I'm going to even say the top level density maybe need to be a little higher. So maybe I need to move this up a little bit. I'm going to make these a little larger. Okay, so that that's good. So. Let's look at that in, in, uh, well, in cycles. We'll have to actually go into our lighting. And I've got it set for, let's see, a world sky. So we'll go to cycles. And if I look at this, I want to say, okay, I think I want my light uh, intensity down a little bit. I'm going to show you a new trick that we have, and that is that with nothing selected, I'll hit... A twice, nothing selected. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to add a new material. And I'm going to share this material with you. It's part of the new Pro. So it's going to be called CW Dirt 2022, okay? And so I'm going to say, just add this material. So it's added to nothing, right? So I'll go back in, and we'll select this. And I will come in here and say Shift-A, and I'll go down to Group. And here's that 2022. I'm going to grab that, and I'll drop it right in the base color, right there. And now it's going to make this all much, much darker. 
So let's look at this a little closer. So if we just hit this, we can see that uh, this is going to be our color mask for the whole object. That's the color that we're going to be dealing with. And let's make this something like 0 0.2. So you can see. Now if I make it 0, this is no effect at all. So maybe 0.3, something like that. So we're just changing it just a little bit, right? So just to kind of get a little more darkness. And now if I look at that, I can, I can control shift click. And now I'm going to see the AO and what the AO dirt, you know, is going to, what the AO referencing the dirt is going to look like. And that's, that's the overall dirt mask right there. And so here I can actually, you know, if I want to actually adjust the scale, I can and the dirt brightness and the dirt contrast. I might just punch it up a little bit. You see, it gets a little more, it's a little more contrasty than dirt does. And AO amounts good. And maybe we'll just move this up just a little more. And let's go back in and look at the uh, color again and see where we're at on that. So it's gotten quite a bit darker, but uh, I think it's working all right. Scale, we want to up the scale a little bit. There we go. We're starting to get, I'm changing the contrast, change the brightness. And we're starting to get some dirt over here too. So now we can go back to our, uh, let's go back and click here to get our object. And we've got our dirt, we got our lights. And we'll go back into our world and we'll just jack up some of these numbers again. Maybe, maybe 0 0.6, a little higher there. And maybe this is back to 0.5. And I think I'll move, I'll move out just a little bit, something like. Okay, something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'll make sure this is locked down. Get myself another view right here, like so. Let's do Shift A and I want to do A cube. Now I'm going to give him a new material and we're going to hit this X button right here to delete this. And we'll say shift a shader and we'll do a volume scatter on this one. Stick it over here. Volume 0.1 and let's go into this mode right here. So we have still a lot 0.01. There we go. Now we're starting to get something maybe. Yeah. 0.015. See what that gives us. Okay. And then with that done, you know, we have the dirt mode and everything else. We'll just go ahead and hit F12 and let's render this out and see what it looks like. And there we go. And maybe we'll add a little post effects to it. Go to compositing. Turn on use nodes so you can see down here what's going on when we do that. Let's move this up. Let's see it's a little better. And I think we'll just add a little more contrast to it. Here we go. A little up, maybe. That's better. Go in here, we'll in adjust this so we turn off the fog glow. Now we'll just add a little bit back in. Something like that. Maybe we'll just punch a little of the color, just to, uh, give it a little bit of color toning there. Um, add a little bit of film grain. And let's just see what happens when we add our mist in here. Uh, and I'll just have to take this and move it down. This will get me my mist pass. So you can see that's probably too much film grain. No, that's all right. And last, let's just go ahead and add some vignetting. Obviously, that's going to be too much, so we'll just back it down to something like this. And that's our finished image. So that's just a quick example of how you can use some of the latest, and, and there's, there's a lot more there, but some of the latest D-Packs in the brand new Pro version. So check it out. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.